I mean, it wasn't torture, but it wasn't clicking. It wasn't your thing. Yeah, it wasn't clicking at all. I would, uh, my. At some oh. point, you understand that you are not going to take fucking around in the streets into a career. Yeah, <laughs> like exactly. And and it was. Uh, I just want to tell this story real quick because it's my father tells it. I remember it, but not the way he does. And it was hockey, and it was the second time around on hockey, and the entire the whistle blew, and I just remember hearing my father in the stands, just holler out like Jesus Christ, like boy. And just like you could hear that boom in his voice because I had dropped my Yoda action figure out of my hockey pants and I had stopped everyone on the ice, <laughs> dropped my stick and was down looking for it. And it was just, that was the moment where my father was like, all right, okay, let's find something else. Clearly not and, interested. Yeah, clearly in no way into this. And that was the year that I did well because it had finally been shown to me that I grew to six feet pretty young and that if I just don't worry about the puck right. and just worry about hitting guys. You'd be okay. And I was a superstar at this point right. because all I knew was like, number six, and be like, and that was my job, right? Were that, I were loved you, it. Were you that kid though? Like was that, was yeah. that a way for you to take out the aggravation? It was wonderful, I absolutely, that's what really got me enjoying it. But again, there was no, and it was the same in football. Uh, we had an Ironman team, which is like, we only had one and a half right. lines, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we played both positions. And I knew that if I got a tug on my jersey, I wasn't allowed to use my hands. That's all I knew about the entire game. I knew nothing else about how to run or where the ball or anything <laughs> like that. That's all I knew. And then if I got the tug, I couldn't use my hands and I had to keep them in. Otherwise, I could use my hands and I could take on and I would go for the biggest guy every time and I'd get run over like a truck. Like, I was not good at it, That's but I enjoyed hilarious. that part of it. I enjoyed barreling down oh, in the armor like a knight of the round table or like Batman. Like I was I so the opposite. I think, I, I don't remember this, but my parents tell a story of being like, like three years old and they put me into like skating lessons because my dad was like he wanted me to be like the hockey player kid right sure. sports kid because my dad was all of that stuff but i got pneumonia like right after that and i guess in my three-year-old brain i just i connected him and after that moment was like no i'm not going back there and like my entire life after that anytime i tried to get anywhere near sports something just if, like football, I went and tried out. As soon as it got the hitting, it was like, no, no, I'm not. No, I've got no interest in this shit. Well, see, that's what was great for me was the, the hitting was fun, but you know, my father loved going to the games and he ended right. up coaching, especially with my, my younger brother and stuff. And, and it was, you know what I mean? It was wonderful times with that and it yeah. was fun and he was encouraging and it was really great. I never had that like fear of it right. as much as I just, could care less about the rules right. and the score. Yeah, None of that interests me in any way. When people would get pumped up like we won, I'd be like, great. You didn't, Anywho, identi you didn't identify with the team mentality. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I, 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 it, it was another fun thing to do outside. Right. It had nothing to do with me against anyone else. Right. I would constantly. That's interesting. That's a, that's I like honestly until sitting down right now with that that take. I hadn't really sort of made that connection, but I think a lot of artists. And I mean, it's a cliche, but cliches are cliches for a reason. Obviously, there's a lot of examples where you know that fall out of this. But like, you either tend to be sports or artist. Yeah, it's it's a line that's unfortunately <laughs> drawn, right? Like it 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 shouldn't be, right? Like growing up with my brother, he was the sports guy and I was the art guy. Mm -hmm. So uh, I read comic books, he collected baseball cards. Right. But beyond that, at you know, at late at night, you know, I picked up all the knowledge so I could go to school the next day and we would play this game where you throw your hockey cards against yep. the wall. And I would get a Mary Lou Mew rookie, and I would get my brother right. Gretzky for that year, and I would help him. And he would subsequently read Dr. Fate and Green Lantern, and then, because we shared a room. So right. this, you know, we were both to this day, I remember all these things and think of them very fondly. What does your brother do now for a little? Uh, he is a government man. 
and he plays on four different hockey teams to this day. That's the point. I, that's yeah. exactly the point I was trying to make. I think the difference between the two, and again, there's crossover, obviously, but I think the difference between the two is how quickly and, and immediately you identify with the team mentality. Yeah, and even more so, he's a goalie, which is really Leader descriptive of, of him. Yeah, like yeah. he's he's alone on a team. Right. And he is great at it. 